Hey, what's going on, folks? It's your boy Rudy back at it again with another video. Again, just want to go ahead and reiterate throughout the week, man. I hope you guys are having a good week. It's uh, midweek, middle of the week, hump day, whatever you want to call it. It's Wednesday. Giants play on Sunday. Good pass win by the New York Giants this past Sunday. Had a lot of stuff to do. Couldn't put up in any videos. But real quick, you know, I want to give a shout out to that uh, Giants office where we were able to open holes for the running backs, especially Wayne Gallman. Good to see out there uh, Alfred Morris, man, get a couple of touchdowns. It's been a couple of years for him. Uh, that offensive line, uh, 190 yards rushing. Great job on them. Colt McCoy didn't throw out no crazy numbers, but he did what he had to do just enough to make sure that ball wasn't getting turned over or anything crazy, except for that one turnover. It's like a pick in the first quarter, I think it was, where Evan Ingram didn't catch it. It was a catchable ball, and it tipped into the hands, and... Um, he got intercepted by the Seahawks, but it didn't cost us anything. Thank God. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that defense is fire. The Giants are knowing how to play. They're doing a good job over there. And 13.7% uh, chance the Giants only had to be able to beat the Seahawks. One of the biggest upsets uh, this year for uh, underdog teams. You know, it was a 10.5 spread. And the uh, Seahawks, you know what I mean, uh, weren't ready for the New York Giants. The New York Giants knew that we're ready. But, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. We got to win and uh, still in first place. Following, you know, even though the Redskins did beat uh, the Steelers the other night, still in first place. Dallas Cowboys, of course, they lost last night to the Ravens. So, uh, we playing, the, the, you know, the New York Giants are playing the Arizona Cardinals this weekend. They're still a playoff team. Yeah, they're a beatable team. They're still a playoff team. But they they are a good team. And they got Kyler Murray back there, so. Giants got to figure out ways to go ahead and slow him down as well. That's another moving, running uh, quarterback. And it's going to be another tough task this week. Also, another news. Uh, the Giants versus Browns has been moved from 1 p.m. on that, what is it, on the 20th? From 1 p.m. to uh, 820 on NBC, it looks like it's going to be a Sunday night game. That game got moved, you know, with all the crazy stuff that's going on uh, with the with the pandemic. Uh, scheduling is changing around, so the Giants will be playing a Sunday night game against the Browns on the 20th, which is next, two Sundays from now. But uh, kudos and great job to the Giants, man, for doing a great job out there. And uh, I'll put up some more news, and, you know, I know you've heard us since last night. And today, uh, Odell on that podcast, uh, speaking more of the truth, uh, really, I've always said he's never really put down Eli Manning. All he was ever saying that, you know, things of that sort that, you know, he's not what he once was. Yeah, that's true because he was a lot older, but that's something you should have never said. And that's what drove you out of New York. It's not that he meant it in a bad way, but, you know, that podcast and what he said in detail explains a lot why he was upset and it wasn't with. Eli, it was with management. All right, guys, I love you guys. Until next time, peace.